This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 501. Maple Syrup, Healthy or Unhealthy? By Chris Gunners with Healthline.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey, it's another Monday episode of Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs, all for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more. Just like an audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. Before I get to today's post, I'm excited to introduce our sponsor, Grove Collaborative. Over the past two months, Grove has helped me make the transition from toxic to all natural home products. Grove Collaborative curates the best non-toxic products, which makes it really simple to discover amazing natural home and personal care products. And Grove backs all of its customers with a 100% happiness guarantee on top of free shipping. They make it easy to have a happy, healthy home. And we have a unique offer with them, a $30 Mrs. Myers kit, plus a bonus gift, and a two-month VIP membership. Go to grove.co slash optimal to claim your special offer. That's grove.co, not grove.com, slash optimal. Now, as you guessed from today's post's title, we're gonna talk about maple syrup. And the timing, again, is kind of perfect because one of my students just recently asked me about this. So let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Maple Syrup, Healthy or Unhealthy by Chris Gunners with Healthline.com. One of the more popular sweeteners today is maple syrup. It is a 100% natural sweetener that is claimed to be more nutritious and healthier than sugar. There are many claims about maple syrup online and I'd like to separate the facts from the fiction. What is maple syrup? And how is it made? Maple syrup is made from the sugary circulating fluid, think sap, of maple trees. It has been consumed for many centuries in North America. Over 80% of the world's supply is now produced in Canada. Maple syrup is made in a natural two-step process. Step one, a hole is drilled in the maple tree. Then the sugary circulating fluid leaks out and is collected into a container. Step two, the sugary fluid is boiled until most of the water evaporates, leaving a thick, sugary syrup, which is then filtered to remove impurities. Bottom line. Maple syrup is made by evaporating the sugary circulating fluid, think sap, from maple trees, leaving a thick syrup. It has been consumed for many centuries in North America. Different grades of maple syrup. There are several different grades of maple syrup depending on the color. The exact way they are classified can vary between countries. In the United States, maple syrup is either classified as grade A or grade B. Grade A is then further categorized into three groups, light amber, medium amber, and dark amber. Grade B is the darkest of them all. The main difference between them is that the darker syrups are made from sap that is extracted later in the harvesting season. The dark syrups have a stronger maple flavor and are usually used for baking or in recipes, while the lighter ones are used directly as syrups, for example, as a topping on pancakes. If you're gonna buy maple syrup, then make sure to get actual maple syrup, not just maple-flavored syrup, which can be loaded with refined sugar or high-fructose corn syrup. As with any other food, make sure to read the label. Bottom line. There are several different grades of maple syrup depending on the color. Grade B is the darkest with the strongest maple flavor. Maple syrup contains some vitamins and minerals, but is also high in sugar. The main thing that sets maple syrup apart from refined sugar is the fact that it also contains some minerals and antioxidants. 100 grams of maple syrup contains about 7% of the RDA for calcium, about 6% of the RDA for potassium, about 7% of the RDA for iron, about 28% of the RDA for zinc, and 165% of the RDA for manganese. True, maple syrup does contain a decent amount of some minerals, especially manganese and zinc, but keep in mind that it also contains a whole bunch of sugar. Maple syrup is about two-thirds sucrose, think table sugar, and 100 grams of it therefore supply around 67 grams of sugar. And sugar can be seriously harmful. When consumed in excess, it is believed to be among the leading causes of some of the world's biggest health problems, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. The fact that maple syrup contains some minerals 
is a very poor reason to eat it given the high sugar content. Most people are already eating way too much sugar as it is. The best way to get these minerals is to eat real foods. If you eat a balanced diet of plants and animals, then your chances are probably minimal that you'll be lacking any of these minerals. But if you're going to eat a sugar-based sweetener anyway, then replacing refined sugar in recipes with an identical amount of maple syrup will cut the total sugar content by about a third. The glycemic index of maple sugar seems to be around 54, compared to table sugar, which has a glycemic index of around 65. This is a good thing, and implies that maple syrup raises blood sugar slower than regular sugar. Bottom line. Maple syrup contains a small amount of minerals, especially manganese and zinc. However, it is also very high in sugar, about 67%. Maple syrup contains at least 24 different antioxidants. Oxidative damage is believed to be among the mechanisms behind aging and many diseases. It consists of undesirable chemical reactions that involve free radicals, that is, molecules with unstable electrons. Antioxidants are substances that can neutralize free radicals and reduce oxidative damage, potentially lowering the risk of some diseases. Several studies have found that maple syrup is a decent source of antioxidants. One study found 24 different antioxidant substances in maple syrup. The darker syrups, like grade B, contain more of these beneficial antioxidants than the lighter syrups. However, same as with the minerals, the total amount of antioxidants is still low compared to the large amounts of sugar. One study estimates that replacing all the refined sugar in the average diet with alternative sweeteners like maple syrup will increase the total antioxidant load of the diet similar to eating a single serving of nuts or berries. If you need to lose weight or improve your metabolic health, then you'd be better off skipping caloric sweeteners altogether instead of going for a quote-unquote less bad version of sugar. Bottom line. There are a number of antioxidant substances found in maple syrup, but the amount is still low compared to the large amount of sugar. Maple syrup has been studied in test tubes, but no human studies are available. Numerous potentially beneficial substances have been found in maple syrup. Some of these compounds are not present in the maple tree, but they form when the sugary fluid is boiled to form the syrup. One of these is a compound called Quebecol, named after Quebec, a province in Canada that produces large amounts of maple syrup. The active compounds in maple syrup have been shown to help reduce the growth of cancer cells and may slow the breakdown of carbohydrates in the digestive tract. But really, these test tube studies are almost meaningless when it comes to human health. They tell us absolutely nothing about what happens in a living, breathing person. Keep in mind that almost all of these studies, which often make it into the media with misleading headlines, were sponsored by Canadian maple syrup producers. The bottom line, it's slightly less bad than sugar. Even though maple syrup does contain some nutrients and antioxidants, it is also very high in sugar. Calorie for calorie and sugar gram for sugar gram, maple syrup is a very poor source of nutrients compared to real foods like vegetables, fruits, and unprocessed animal foods. Replacing refined sugar with pure, quality maple syrup is likely to yield a net health benefit, but adding it to your diet will just make things worse. Maple syrup is a less bad version of sugar, kind of like honey and coconut sugar. That does not make it healthy, though. As with all sugar-based sweeteners, if you're going to eat it, make sure to do so in moderation only. You just listened to the post titled, Maple Syrup, Healthy or Unhealthy? by Chris Gunners with Healthline.com. Once again, I'm excited to introduce our sponsor, Grove Collaborative. Over the past two months, Grove has helped me make the transition from toxic to all-natural home products. They provide eco-friendly and non-toxic home and personal care products that are safe for the family and the household. They have their own flagship products, but also carry brands you're likely already familiar with and use, like Mrs. Myers, Tom's, Method, and more. Everything I got from them feels like it's better quality, and they were kind enough to throw in a personal note. It's like the red carpet treatment, but for better prices. And on top of the great prices, they have free shipping and free returns with no questions asked. Plus, if you're a VIP member, they'll price match. And we have a unique offer with them, a $30 Mrs. Myers kit, plus a bonus gift, and a two-month VIP membership. Go to grove.co optimal to claim your special offer. 
That's grove.co, not grove.com, slash optimal. So the other day when my student asked me this very same question, I responded in actually a very similar way. I said, let's not get too hung up on the idea that maple syrup or even molasses may have some antioxidants and some minerals in them. But rather, let's think about how the body treats each of these substances. The body will basically treat honey, maple syrup, and molasses the same way, like sugar. So let's use a more extreme example. Let's say someone were to take a tablespoon of straight honey or molasses or maple syrup every morning because they think it's a probiotic or because they think it has antioxidants or it acts as an antibiotic. So let's say every morning a person consumes a tablespoon of molasses, maple syrup, or even honey. If they were to do this consistently, I'm willing to bet that after, oh, a month or so of doing this practice, the person's triglyceride levels in their blood and their blood sugars aren't gonna look so good. And that's because for the most part, the body's gonna treat each of these like sugar. It's gonna process it in pretty much the same way. And so I like the author's term that maple syrup is less bad maybe than table sugar, but it really is still sugar because again, that's how the body's gonna treat it. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. I'll be back here tomorrow as always where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this show and Optimal Living Daily, the brother podcast of this one. Literally, I'm Dr. Neil's brother. If you like the format of this show, you'll love Optimal Living Daily too, where I also read to you from blogs, but cover other topics like personal development, finance, and minimalism from bloggers like Derek Sivers, The Minimalists, Zen Habits, and many more. So for more amazing content read to you for free, come subscribe to Optimal Living Daily too, And together, we'll optimize your life. You've been listening to Optimal Health Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us and remember, your optimal life awaits.